welcome back. So we're gonna be making rib rolls today. Yep, I said rib rolls. I said rib rolls. I said rib rolls. I said rib rolls. Go, do it with me. I said rib rolls. So we're gonna start off by adding some salt and pepper. Echale sal, bastante sal. Then we're gonna go straight into making the barbecue sauce. And so this is kind of just like a generic barbecue sauce that I like to use, a sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. Because I could just add whatever I want to it depending on what flavor I want. Like if I want a Japanese flavor, I can add like some Japanese ingredients in there, soy sauce and stuff. But this is not that recipe, so we're just going to add some honey to it to sweeten it up. I'm also going to add some A1 steak sauce to it. And just scrape off the rest of the, the goodness in the cup. After we mix it up, we're going to add some fresh garlic to it. It's a pretty big pork shoulder, so I'm going to add about five or six garlic cloves to it. So after you mix everything up together, we are going to add it to the pot. And of course, you got to roll your sleeves up because it's about to get messy. We're going to just massage everything in there and make sure we got the whole thing covered. So if you got to add some more salt and pepper, go ahead and do that. I just added some paprika to it just to give it a little bit of a color, like a darker, richer color to it. Yeah. 
Yeah, this baby is big. <laughs> then we're going to coat it with some olive oil. I use extra virgin olive oil. And then just add the sauce that we just made straight in there. And then we're going to just massage it all up in there. So we're gonna leave it in there for four hours on high. And after, after it's done, we're gonna go ahead and shred it. So after we shred it out, we're gonna start making the, kinda I guess you can say like a sofrito for it. Cause we're gonna saute everything in a pan. So I took about, I would say three whole onions, just because the pork is so big. And we're just gonna saute the onions down until they're pretty soft. And I'm gonna make a little well for it because I like when, when I throw the pork straight in, I like it to hit the pan and not kinda just fall on top of a bed of onions. I don't know, maybe it's just me, <laughs> but that's my preference. <laughs> So after we're done stirring everything up, I'm gonna go ahead and add the juice that was in the crock pot, like the barbecue sauce that we made. I'm gonna add some of it to the pan just to kind of deglaze everything. And I want it to thicken up a little bit, so that's why I'm adding some barbecue sauce now.
so after it's been sauteing for about 10 15 minutes and everything is kind of like combined together we're gonna add some cheese sharp cheddar cheese So we're gonna do a little egg wash to seal up the actual wonton wrappers. And by that, it's just some eggs and a little bit of milk and you mix it up together. We're gonna fry these babies until they're just golden brown on both sides. So just a few minutes. And these are my taste testers. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'm crazy about this food.